hello welcome back to simply nicole i'm filming yeah i'm so excited i finally get to film i just heard a youtuber say one time that she doesn't take up a lot of space in other people's lives meaning mentally or like verbally meaning when she's talking to other people she kind of lets them talk and she's more of a listener and she said that that's why she has her youtube channel and her podcast and that it's important to take up space in those areas and i completely relate to that as a person i'm not very talkative for the most part unless i'm really comfortable with you but for the most part i'm a really good listener i prefer to be a listener and an observer but i love doing youtube because it allows me to just really talk about things that are on my mind and recently a lot of things have been on my mind i've been having a lot of thoughts a lot of things i've been wanting to, i've been really i'm like i need a life coach and i'm like wait i am a life coach because i just you know just coaching myself through so much stuff through a lot of the knowledge that i've gained and i'm like i just want to talk about it out loud and I, but then i won't have my camera on me so today i'm really taking this day and this time to just talk debrief if that's the word if that's the word and just relax and chill i am gonna do my makeup my skin is going through it been breaking out probably because of the the increased stress right now um um i was talking to someone um last week and they were said that this that was the worst week of their life and i kind of relate a little bit i was like you know what i think so too girl i feel you on that and i'm trying to make sure that um everything is visible i think it's so weird because it's like you know sometimes it does get stressful being in grad school and stuff and i have to think i'm like nicole like you wanted this so badly you wanted this a year ago this time a year ago guys i was in a completely different headspace and looking back on the like pictures and stuff completely different headspace not very happy but still was driven and goal oriented and saying i i do want to be in grad school a year from now and so now, you know, I'm there. And guys, it has its ups and downs. I was talking to one of my friends a while ago about it and just about grad school because she's also uh, in my program. And just how like a lot of times I just think we don't think about the fact that everything that is good has a bad. It comes with a bad side. You know, we, we glorify being in grad school or, you know, furthering your education, but nobody ever, you know, and the benefits of that. But nobody ever talks about the other sides of that, guys, the the doubt, the constant imposter syndrome. And I have never really struggled with my anxiety um, until I got to grad school, guys, constantly. And I keep hearing, well, you know, it's a good thing. Anxiety means that you care. And anxiety is a good thing. I've been finding working on ways to really just calm it down mitigate it but it's all these things it's the self-doubt this imposter syndrome everything playing into effect you you just are going to be constantly comparing yourself and like nobody prepared me for this part of grad school i thought it was just going to be all great all rainbows and unicorns all easy and just chill a breeze absolutely not absolutely not it's been the complete opposite but i'm at the same time though i'm grateful to be here i really really am Yes, it has like its downsides. It it has its cons, its disadvantages, its struggles. It, but that's life. That's why I have to remind myself. I'm like, it's life. And a lot of times we keep we think, oh well, the grass must be greener on the other side. You know, maybe life will get like maybe it's better once I'm done with this semester or once I graduate it'll be better. Once I get a job, once I get an internship. No, it, it doesn't matter what it is that you think about doing. It's gonna have it's disadvantages the parts that's going to make you struggle but that's actually good that means growth that means change and that's overall good like if like you need that to be the best you possible but the other thing guys that i have to keep telling myself and i talked about this a little bit before what in the world i talked about this a little bit before but being in a space where right now it is a lot of firsts like first time being it's not even my first time being away from home. I don't know why it feels like that, but first time being 
a little bit more independent, making my own choices and whatever and stuff like that. And sometimes I just have to tell myself, look, Nicole, you cannot have it all right now. I'm like, you can't have it all. Okay. You cannot have it all. One day in life, I will have it all or, you know, have the life that I've been dreaming of. But life is a journey, not a destination. We know that. So there will constantly be growth and improvements and there will constantly be a um, process where we're reaching towards goals. But right now you're not in the phase where you can really reap the benefits of your hard work or you know, you're still in a phase in life where you're sowing your seeds. You can't have it all while you're still trying to sow your seeds, honey. And being 22, like, it takes, you're still so young. That's what I'm telling myself. I'm like, I have to tell myself this. I'm like, Nicole, you're still so young. You still have, you've worked so hard to get where you are in all aspects of life. Not just academically, but so many other ways. And so just keep working and just understand right now, like you're not in the phase of necessarily oh God, y'all, reaping the fruits of your labor. You're still putting in that work. And one of the things, one of the phrases that uh, a life coach I listen to constantly says that I have, I've been hearing it, like I just keep like hearing it in my mind, is don't get weary in well-doing. Not completely sure what that means, but I know basically saying like, just have faith in your process and just don't give up on your dreams, really, because I do have an idea of what I want my life to look like in the future. I'm not going to put a time limit on it, but, you know, in the future and basically like it goes back to the grass is greener on the other side. Like before I got to grad school. I thought that it was going to be great. I'm like, okay, I got my car. I got my apartment. <laughs> Life is great. But not really thinking about, um, okay, what does it take to have those things, guys? Right? It takes rent, you know, utilities, gas, groceries, oil changes. You, you, we don't think about that kind of stuff. So it just really helped me. Hold on, I need to... It just really helped me to really say, look, I just want to appreciate where I am in life. Instead of a lot of times focusing on where we want to be, focus on where you are. Because the grass is not green on the other side, guys. It's not all the time. Like, everything that glitters is in gold. And that's one thing, even with, like, my YouTube journey. Well, I don't call it a YouTube journey anymore because my whole journey now, as far as business and my brand, it reaches uh, much further than YouTube. But it was always that, oh... You know, how come I don't have as many views as the next YouTuber? How come I can't have like 100,000 subscribers right now? Why can't I have supporters from all over the world and stuff like that? But not understanding that it's stuff that comes with that, that if you really knew the struggles that come with that, you know, the um, the mental struggle, like the, the, the fatigue, guys, the pressure, then you really, you if you really knew what these, a lot of these YouTubers and influencers go through behind the scenes, you wouldn't you wouldn't want it so much you would you would really learn to appreciate your journey and that's like the issue just with social media or just the media in general or even just life in general is that people really only ever want to share like the highlights you know the highlight reel the good things about their life but i kind of that's you have to be aware of that that's why you have to take things on social media and even things people are saying with a grain of salt you don't know you don't know anybody's life you don't know anybody's behind the scenes you, you don't live with people you don't know for real behind the scenes like with relationships like when people say oh they have such a good relationship you know they seem so happy girl you don't live with them you don't know <laughs> you know and i really aim with my platform and just in general when i'm talking to people i really do want people to understand like the good and bad sides of life like i don't want anybody to look at my life and think that i have it all or that like to glorify why can't I see this eyebrow or to glorify anything about my life? Because I will keep it real with you and say, no, like it struggles. It's stress, guys. When I say like, I've never felt my body go through this much, like react this way to the stress and anxiety. Just like sometimes I will feel sick. I'll feel like I have chills or something. But really, it's just the fatigue and just the stress. And I just need to just lie down, guys. <laughs> needing to lie down for a minute um okay so i really really just 
try to be like a very realistic person about my life and being open about the things that I struggle with and stuff like that. And that's one thing that I realized today. Like I started off by saying wanting to take up space in the, in the social media world. But, but at the same time, I like to be kind of private. I don't want all of my business out there. Um, really, I wouldn't mind it. I'm a transparent person. I don't really care. It's just weird because I don't like a lot of people in my life, in my, in my, in my real life. I don't talk to them about stuff that I go through because I just don't feel comfortable. I just, eh, I'd rather just talk to my camera. And, but I realize like I don't want all my business out there because there are people that are going to watch you and kind of like try to see what they can use against you. Or maybe they, uh, they're waiting on your downfall. Um, you know, they, they just, they tune in to your channel and stuff to see what you're up to. It's because they're jealous of you. And you can't stop haters. Haters are going to do that. That's what they do. There's nothing. I mean, what can I do? I'm still going to just keep being me. I mean, there's so many people that that I know literally watch me on um, social media. Whether that's Instagram or YouTube. And it's like I don't really know them or they don't. They're just not people that I necessarily trust, to be honest. And because I've always wanted to like go live on Instagram and really talk about things. And like kind of like how I do on here. But I just, oh, I don't know, but um, I've accepted that look. My, I mean, my life is on the internet. <laughs> I have two YouTube channels um, and like a lot of parts of my life are on the internet. And I think the longer I do it, the more transparent I will actually start being. And even like people that really just um, find it therapeutic or relatable are going to be the people that watch and that's you got to just focus on that um but having haters and stuff like that just comes with the territory it doesn't even matter even if i wasn't doing youtube whatever you're doing does something good uh yeah i mean it's gonna be haters that's i mean something you can do about that I heard something. Another thing that I really do want to talk about that's really important to me is um, I saw this post on, um, I don't think I really concealed it. Sorry. It's been a while since I've done my eye makeup. I'm doing eyeshadow because I'm trying to go do something real quick. So anyway, I saw this post and it was saying basically like, you know, basically saying the way I interpreted it was I'm going to work hard to change my life so that I can help others change their lives. And that, I realize, is really the epitome of what I have been doing. If you can see, I bought a lot of books recently. I've always been into self-improvement books, but I'm really getting serious about it now and just becoming well-versed in a lot of different topics and, you know, ranging from finances to just random stuff, just everything. Because, guys, I really do want to change my life i have changed my life but i want people to understand that the circumstances that you're born into does not determine your destiny you can you you can change that you can change where you end up in life though. it's all about your mindset where is my powder it is all about your mind set guys it's all about your mindset and just a lot of times we like just the average like person i feel like when you're going through life you go through school you're told that you need to go to college to get a good job you're told that you need to do these things to make your family happy and stuff like that but you you never like a lot of times we just don't realize that we can break these generational curses we can change we can have a better life for our kids than what we had right if we just change our mindset change your mindset and don't operate from that limiting mindset and understand that anything guys anything that you want to accomplish in this world and i know it sounds so cliche but it's true and that's that's the thing it's like that shouldn't be that shouldn't be just like something that we say to sound good no because it's actually true that you want to accomplish guys you can guys it just starts with your mindset gaining new knowledge changing the way you think becoming the best you and I gotta think what kind of eye color I wanna do. And you can really.
you can really change your life. Like it, I mean, I don't know. It's just something that we're not told every day. Something that we don't hear a lot of times growing up. We just, we're not a lot of times inspired or pushed to be better than our parents, guys. So that you can make a better life for your kids and for your kids' kids. And that's what, I'm, that's what I am dedicated to doing. Changing my life so I can help people change theirs. And just help them understand that the life that you really think that you're that like you should be living like this basic life or whatever, but it's not as good as the life that you dream of. It's not the life that you dream of where you have this financial freedom. You have the ability to travel the world. Don't think that those things are unattainable because if you want it, like you can definitely get there. And even guys, just personally with the way that. I mean, even just recently, the way that I kind of just carry myself now, the way that I dress now, my energy, my whole temperament, different, different, was never like that in the past. But I realized I wanted to level up a little bit. I wanted to dress differently. I wanted to have this different type of energy. I wanted to be like just, ah, I knew that would happen to my camera. What I... So I haven't done, can you guys see? <laughs> I haven't done my eye makeup in about six months. This is what we have. Something really light and cute. But, so I'm still doing makeup, but I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this up a little bit. Um, but the thing that I, you know, I know I was talking about just not like operating from this limiting mindset understanding whatever it is that your heart really desires you have the life you're blessed with life so that you can achieve those things and just seek new knowledge seek things that are going to help you seek things that are going to make your life better do things to improve yourself mentally physically emotionally socially all these things because it i mean it can make a difference in your life so the last one of the last couple things I want to touch on. Do I want to wear lashes today? I don't feel like it. <sighs> Does it make a difference if I wear lashes or not? All right, I'll do them later. Okay, so comparing yourself, guys. I know I've probably talked about this before, but I was listening to a podcast recently, and I really like the way she said it. But comparing ourselves, the problem with that and one thing I've noticed, is that we compare ourselves, but then we don't realize that the life that we have, somebody actually wishes that that was their life. So when you're comparing yourself, it it makes you operate from this scarcity mindset. Like it makes you focus on the things that you don't have, the things that you're lacking. If only I had the amount of money that she had, if only I had, if only I drove the car she had, if only I dressed like her. Oh, I wish my hair was like that. Oh, girl, that's a big one for me, you know, but then there's other people that's like, no, some people look at my hair or at my life or my resources and they wish that they had that. So it's just this never ending cycle of because there's always something better in the situation that you're in if you're operating from that mindset but if you're not and if you're really focusing on expressing gratitude then you're like look i'm happy for where i'm happy and grateful to be in this to be where i am because like thinking like okay you know i wish i had the resources to have a nicer car to have um i don't know i don't i don't focus on things that i don't have so it's hard to do this but like i wish well let's just use that as, as an example guys there are some people that wish they had a car period 
And that was me, that I wished I had a car period a year ago from now, and now I have a car, and now I'm still wishing I had something more. So what I'm saying is we have to focus on appreciating really where we are in our journey and understanding that we're there for a reason and understanding that in order to really move to the next part of your journey, you have to be fully you know, invested in where you are by being grateful for it, expressing gratitude for it every single day, for, for even the little things. Um so that you can really optimize where you are because you might say, oh, I wish I had more subscribers. I wish I had more followers. I wish I had more money. Well, what are you doing with your followers and your money, your subscribers now? Like, are you really pouring into them? Are you really like investing in them to where it can create more? Or are you just, since you're not happy with it, you're just ignoring it. That's where we get stuck because we just get so focused on the end goal instead of focusing on like where you are now. Because <clears throat> like, Life is a journey, like I said. Life is a journey. It's not like a destination. It's not, you're not, it's like you have to just keep working and moving forward. I don't want to put lashes on, but I am going to put lashes on. I'm going to fix my hair, um, go ahead and just get going. Thank you guys for listening. <clears throat> Alrighty, I am done with my makeup and I think of my hair. I'm going to go on with my day now, but. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you I hope this was helpful. This really helped me just because I'm always thinking about this kind of stuff throughout the day. And but just not really feeling like I have anybody to talk to about it. Not always having my camera on me to just pick it up and start speaking right there. So I'm glad I really got the chance to sit down, get things off my chest. Um, and I'm just really excited. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.